Hello everyone! For today's video, I will be showing you the second week of life of the polar bears. Today is their day 8 and as you can see, there is no much change in them yet. Their eyes and ears are still closed. Anytime soon, their eyes will begin to open. It generally takes 10-14 to 14 days for newborn puppies to open their eyes and longer for them to see clearly. Today is their day 9 and I noticed that their eyes are starting to open. Most puppies will open one eye at a time over the course of a few days. Be patient. We should never try to open their eyes before they are ready. Because we can damage the pup's eyes and sight if we try to force to open their eyes. Let nature take its course. Here, only one polar bear's eyes is starting to open. I also checked their ears and it is still closed. Puppy's ears begin to open around the time that the eyes do, generally around 12 to 14 days old. Their hearing will continue to develop until the puppies are around 5 weeks old. Today is the day 10 of the polar bears. Let me check if their eyes are fully opened. As you can see, polar bear number 1's eyes is starting to open. Let's check polar bear number 2. As you can see, both of his eyes are now open. When a newborn puppy's eyes first open, he isn't able to focus well. Their eyesight is a bit blurry. Let's check polar bear number 3. As you can see, both of her eyes are still not open. The first thing that we should do the moment the puppies open their eyes is to keep them in a dim lit location to protect their eyes. We should not take them into full sunlight because too much brightness can damage their eyesight. Today is the day 11 of the polar bears. Puppy's eyes will continue to develop over the next several weeks, reaching full vision around 8 weeks of age. Today is the day 12 of the polar bears. Both eyes of the three polar bears are now fully open. When puppy's eyes first open, they start out with a milky, grayish blue appearance, but that clears with time. A puppy's eyes don't truly mature until the puppy is 4 to 5 weeks old. In fact, puppies can see before they can hear. Their ears open at around 18 to 20 days. As a puppy's eyes start to mature, his tapetum lucidum is developing. That's the layer of tissue that lies behind the retina that helps the animal develop night vision. It's also what causes that eerie green glow when you take a photo of your pet with a flash camera. The puppy's nose now has a color. By this time, we can determine whether the puppy is a liver or liver carrier. If you don't know the difference between liver and liver carrier, you can watch our video explaining and comparing the difference between the two. Today is their day 13. Newborn puppies cannot fully support their weight for the first two weeks of life. So they crawl around on their bellies, paddling and pushing with their legs and building strength. They still spend most of their time sleeping. If you notice that the mother dog cannot accommodate the puppies anymore, you can start introducing milk replacer to the pups. This is what we always do for the puppies to maintain their weight and not be dehydrated. Today is the day 14 of the polar bears. Today is also their first deworm. I will now reveal the name of the polar bears. This is Yakira. She is the only female pup of vanilla. She was also the one who was born in posterior presentation. This is Yuri. This is Yaris. Let's deworm them now. So first is Yaris. Let's weigh him. He weighs 652 grams. Puppies should be dewormed for the first time at 2 weeks of age, then at 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 weeks old. After this, they can be dewormed every after 3 months using a worming syrup or tablet with parental as an active ingredient. 
making sure that it is safe for pups at 2 weeks of age. Don't forget to also deworm the mother dog at 2 and 4 weeks post well. The tip of the siren should be facing in the side so that the puppies won't be choked. It is vital to maintain a deworming program to ensure your pet stays healthy and comfortable. Intestinal worms such as hookworms, tapeworms, and roundworms can make your puppy sick and unable to effectively absorb much needed nutrients and vitamins. They can also cause blood loss and anemia, which can be serious in the early stages of your puppy's life. After deworming, it is advisable to use the nasal aspirator. Next is Yuri. He weighs 643 grams. The amount of dewormer administered should depend on your puppy's weight. It is normal for newborn pups not to like the taste of the dewormer. Next is Yakira. She weighs 696 grams. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.